You don't need to be an economist to know prices for just about everything, just about everywhere, are too high. The cost of bread, the cost of meat, the cost of getting around, they're all up significantly over the past year. To get prices under control, the Bank of Canada has hiked interest rates. They were at 0.25% in January. Today, just 10 months later, they've shot up to 3.75%, a 1,400% increase. People are pinched and they want a break. I think that they should uh, really slow it down and stop it here. That's going to be really scary. It's going to be a matter of me having a roof over my head for myself and my child. I just, I'm worried that it's not going to go down. I mean, we don't want to hit another recession again. So we put their concerns to the governor of the Bank of Canada. How bad are we willing to let it get to get inflation back under control? We don't want to make this more difficult than it has to be. But at the same time, if, we're, if we don't do enough, if we're half-hearted, Canadians are going to have to continue to endure the high inflation that is harming them every day. We actually think growth is going to be close to zero for the next few quarters, till about the middle of next year. If there's anything we've learned from these past three years, it's that the economic fog is impossible to see through. And if we don't really know what's happening, how can we be sure of the solution? Supply chains have eased, the price of oil is down, and inflation is decelerating at least a little. And still, the bank says it has to push rates further and cool the economy even more. I get that is a bit counterintuitive for Canadians. I mean, you know, their, their rent's going up, their groceries are more expensive, gasoline's more expensive, and now their borrowing costs are more expensive. So, so how does that work? Well, that does slow spending. It makes, it makes anything you buy on credit more expensive. Peter, what does this mean for jobs here? Look, it's a good question, and the news isn't great. The bank says unemployment is going to rise. We will see layoffs because the economy is going to slow as we buy less stuff. Now, part of the solution is also part of the problem. We haven't had enough workers. We're starting to see immigration pick back up. That's going to fix the supply side of the labor problem. But look, it is tough times ahead for workers. We are going to see layoffs. Next week, more inflation numbers. What's your gut of what we can expect? You know, every time I come here, I worry that I'm bringing bad news. And, and look, we are seeing progress. We went from 8.1% over the summer down to 6.9%. We think inflation numbers next week are going to show Canada's rate of inflation ticked up a little bit. It's mostly just because gas went up in October, as we all know. We are making progress. Tiff Macklin says we're getting there, just not there yet. All right, be patient, apparently. Peter Armstrong, thank you. You bet.